if you're going to record a training session, CEO briefing, or product demo, you want to make sure it's the best quality it can be. Here are some key things to keep in mind to make sure your recording is ready for prime time. Less network traffic means a better production. The busiest times in our global work week tend to be early in the week and mornings on the U.S. East Coast. Because this translates into network traffic, which can negatively affect the quality of video calls, be sure to schedule your recording during the non-peak times of the week. This means later in the afternoon and later in the week. Optimize your endpoint and video network. A TCS that you want to be audience ready should be recorded on a current high-end endpoint. The endpoint should be able to capture the presentation environment you want. Dial in from an endpoint with the highest possible bandwidth. Keep in mind this could vary from location to location. What will the audience see? Just as in a live video meeting, you will want to optimize your physical background and keep it free of distractions. A tip for conferences with just one presenter. If your presenter is a marquee, high-level presenter, a C-level executive or the like, you know who they are, you probably want to keep them on screen the entire time. But otherwise, a best practice for recording is for the presenter to introduce themselves on camera. Then, when utilizing content such as a PowerPoint, make that presentation the main and only content. You can do this on an MXP by holding the presentation button down for several seconds and then toggling the main video option over to PC. When the presenter is concluding the presentation, it's a great idea to go through the same exercise, making camera the main source to wrap up. If you have more than one presenter from different locations, use a Tambor Cody and HDMCU. This will give the conference the best quality possible and allow you to choose the optimal layout for the recording. Okay, this is easier said than done, but try to record with minimal edits needed. Pause for a moment after the recording starts, then smoothly go through your presentation, finish, pause again, and cut the recording. It will be easier for you to snip off the beginning and the end of your recording if you give yourself some buffer on either end. Finally, output your file at the highest resolution possible. Make sure you have rights to output your TCS file as a large, high-resolution file. You'll be able to output and share your TCS recordings with others. Following these steps will help to ensure your recording is the best it can be.